Elon Musk is known as the man who cares for the environment, and his EV manufacturing company stands as the testimony of that. He is also the reason the EV industry is seeing such rapid development, especially in the case of batteries. Very recently, Tesla announced their upgraded battery pack called the 4680, but it seems that the fresh, trillion-dollar company is thinking that this alone won't be enough, and that's why Tesla might be making a huge deal to adopt the newest Chinese development, the Blade Battery. What exactly is this Blade Battery, and how Tesla is thinking of using them, along with their own battery lineup? Let's have a look. Let's set some common base first about the Blade Battery to get the whole idea of why Tesla, the biggest automotive company, might be deciding to use it. What's the deal with the Blade Battery? When it comes to the EV industry from a growth perspective, it's still quite a new industry with a lot of potential and a lot of development need. But currently, the USA holds on to the most valuable EV company, Tesla. But China is also pacing up, it seems, with some of its new emerging EV makers. Among them, one prospect is BYD, which in 2020 rocked the whole automotive world by launching their new blade battery technology. BYD anticipates that its game-changing new blade battery marks the start of a new era of safety and performance for the electric vehicle. The battery, announced in January 2020, is a type of lithium iron phosphate battery, which is safer and cheaper than many EV batteries as it doesn't use costly cobalt. LFP technology has been around for a long time in China, but its low energy density and hence lower range for EVs means it's mostly used for cheaper cars or electric buses, which travel over similar distances regularly. Now, new battery architecture has improved its energy density, which makes it more acceptable for wider use. BYD engineers have also decreased the cubic volume of the battery installation by 50%, thus creating additional space for vehicle storage or other ancillary equipment. Aside from its clear safety advantages, BYD's Blade battery also features some performance specs. How did Tesla get involved? If you are a true Tesla fan, then you are quite aware of the fact that Tesla has a lot of patents, and most of them are open source, meaning they are free to use. Just the credit will go to Tesla, that's it. A great move by the man who wants the development of the EV industry not to be restricted between the cobwebs of rules and regulation. So it seems other EV manufacturers are also taking this route to push the whole industry ahead, while BYD certainly is thinking that way. BYD Chairman and President Wang Chongfu called the Blade Battery a gift to the industry, as the company is willing to share it with other automakers. In the future, we will share all of our technologies and products with the world, said Chongfu during the unveiling of the Blade Battery last year. So that allows EV makers around the world to work together with BYD and use their new battery. And Tesla seems to have quite an interest in creating an alliance with BYD regarding this Blade battery. A Tesla-BYD partnership? Since the beginning of August 2021, the whole automotive industry began to talk about a possible partnership between the EV giant Tesla and the up-and-coming EV maker BYD. The word on the street was like this. Tesla may want to establish an alternative supplier for its standard range models in China, and they chose BYD to take that position and start supplying batteries from 2022. Neither BYD nor Tesla wasn't ready to share any kind of statement regarding this partnership. A small note in Tesla's presentation from October that stated it would ship all its standard range vehicles to cobalt-free batteries has sparked speculation on which battery maker it will buy them off of to keep its strategy of using locally made parts. This part added more air to the burning question of their partnership. Why is Tesla interested? Now, after all that information, the question that remains is that even though Tesla has quite a workforce appointed to the development of their batteries, they have their battery supplier Panasonic, they even have their own battery lineup. Why are they intending to use BYD's battery technology? Well, the simple answer is better performance and lower cost. The Blade battery uses lithium iron phosphate for the cathode material. It offers a higher level of safety than conventional lithium ion batteries, with outstanding strength, range, long life, and power according to BYD. LFP is more stable battery chemistry, 
even at temperatures as high as 500 degrees Celsius. To showcase its durability, the BYD blade battery has successfully passed the industry's so-called Everest test of being punctured by a nail to prove it won't ignite. The nail penetration test simulates an internal short circuit of the battery, which is the root cause of battery fires or combustion. Other than these, the battery also went through a series of tests which have passed, and BYD claims that Blade Battery is currently the only EV battery in the world that can safely pass these tests. BYD has 26 years of R&D experience in the battery field. The Blade Battery design and the production line were developed entirely in-house, so you can't deny the facts from this experienced company. Tesla wants LFP On top of all that, Elon Musk also wants to go LFP. Recently, Tesla stated that for standard range vehicles, we are shifting to lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry globally. Tesla currently uses LFP batteries from Chinese battery maker CATL in the standard range vehicles it makes in Shanghai. While LFP is less energy dense than the NCA batteries it uses in its performance and long range vehicles, they have the advantage of being cheaper to produce. They are cobalt free and they can be regularly charged to 100%. But with Tesla's ultimate goal to make electric cars more affordable, driven by using as many locally made parts as possible, it means that it would be ideally sourcing LFP batteries from a US-based factory. So thinking about all of them, BYD just emerged as the top choice for Tesla to go for, and that's what they actually did if you believe in Chinese media. According to them, Tesla has secured an initial order of 10 gigawatt hours worth of LFP battery cells from BYD. 10 gigawatt hours is enough to assemble more than 181,000 battery packs for the Tesla Model 3 with 55 kilowatt hours each, or more than 166,000 for the Model Y with 60 kilowatt hours each. So, which Tesla model will be featuring the first blade battery? Chinese media thinks the standard endurance version of Model 3 and Model Y produced by the Fremont plant will be equipped with lithium iron phosphate batteries. Neither Tesla nor BYD has given any kind of official statements on this partnership of theirs. They are simply choosing to keep their mouths shut for the time being. So how can we say it for real? When the next batch of Model 3 and Model Y rolls out of the Fremont plant, the world will see if the partnership is actually true. Or is it just a big rumor? What do you think? Let us know in the comments. That's all for now. I hope you've learned all about the partnership between Tesla and BYD. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and turn on notifications so you're up to date on the channel's updates. See you in the next video.